By the end of this session, we will understand what we mean by gravitational and electric field strength and shall be able to calculate both using these formula. You should also understand that we can calculate the gravitational field strength by the change in potential if we move a mass in a uniform field. Also, the strength of a uniform electric field depends upon the potential difference across the plates and the distance between them. You shall also see an experiment to measure the strength of a uniform electric field. As we have discussed in previous lessons, it is impossible to produce a uniform gravi gravitational field. For our purposes, we can consider the gravitational field close to the Earth's surface to be uniform. Let's talk to Mike to find out what's happening to him when he enters the field. Hi Mike. Hey up Stephen, what's up? Well, it looks like you are at the moment. Oh I know, I'm breaking the laws of physics at the moment so I can explain to you all about gravitational field strength. Which laws of physics are you breaking? The one that states that two objects with mass will be attracted to each other, you doofus. Oh. Okay then. By the way, you're looking good. Have you lost weight? Well, funny you should say that. I know. Someone might think that, someone, that some sort of planning went into these lessons, if we're not careful. No, I don't think they're that good. But anyway, back to weight. As you know, weight is just a force that you exert on the ground. So my weight changes depending upon the strength of the gravitational field I am in. My mass never changes, no matter where I am in the universe. I can calculate the size of the gravitational field I am in if I know my mass and the force, or weight, I am exerting. All right. So gravitational field strength in a uniform field is found by G equals force divided by mass. That's great, Mike. Thanks. No problem, Stephen. Could you give me a lift out of here? Sure, no problem. Hey. This is hard work. Hold on a minute. Could we calculate the gravitational field strength from this? I don't know. Let's think. My force is found by my mass times the gravitational field strength. If you lift me up a bit, then you must be increasing my potential energy, aren't you? Yeah, I am. So, taking mass times gravity times height, that's the formula for potential energy, isn't it? It sure is. But since I wasn't on the ground to begin with, you have increased my potential energy. So we can say that the change in potential energy equals mass times gravitational field strength times change in height. Ah, so if we know the change in potential energy, the height you have been raised, and your mass, we can calculate the gravitational field strength G. That's great, Mike. See ya. Bye. OK, let's see if you understand this before we move on to look at electric fields. 